I welcome you again today to this moment around God's Word and prayer. I trust you are doing well. And slowly our economy begins opening up following this pandemic. And uh, may God just give you grace. We pray for you that God's grace will hold your heart. But I want to reassure you today, as we come to Proverbs chapter 8, that we serve the creator of everything. And he shared his wisdom with us. And we rely on his wisdom. We're taking a chapter a day out of the book of Proverbs. We'll look at Proverbs 9 tomorrow, but we're in chapter 8 today. And as many of you know, I have a background in science. I have a PhD in aerospace engineering. Growing up as a teenager, I loved Jesus, but I also loved science. And my education years ended up backing me into a pastoral ministry career. But I, I love science. I tell people that often, especially when I was in graduate school, I would walk out of science classes feeling like I'd been in a worship service. I wasn't worshiping science, but I was worshiping the incredible God that created what, we, what science helps us to explore and understand. I'd walk out of worship, science classes just amazed at God's genius. And Proverbs gives God's genius a name. It's called wisdom. In fact, in verse 12, wisdom is often personified and it talks to us in the book of Proverbs. Verse 12, I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence and I possess knowledge and discretion. That covers almost every base right there. And then after introducing itself that way, wisdom says in verse 24, 20, I mean verse 22, the Lord brought me forth as the first of his works. And now... He is, going to give, he is going to give a description of God's creation of the heavens and the earth through the eyes of wisdom. It says, The Lord brought me forth as the first of his works before his deeds of old. I was formed long ages ago at the very beginning when the world came to be. A hundred years ago, most scientists didn't believe the universe had a beginning. But right here, uh, Proverbs is telling us, yes, it did. And most scientists today believe that. This is poetic, of course. But what we find in verses 27 and 20 through 29 is a paraphrase of Genesis chapter 1. Listen to this. This is wisdom speaking. I was there when he set the heavens in place. When he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep. When he established the clouds above and fixed securely the fountains of the deep. When he gave the sea its boundary so waters would not overstep his command when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Wisdom is saying, I was there. I was a part of that. And in fact, the way this is being shaped, we see that wisdom was embedded. It was, it was itself the creative genius of God in resulting in this amazing creation that we live in. Verse 30 that I was constantly at his side as God was creating. Wisdom says is poetic language, of course, wisdom being personified as a person. I was constantly at his side and I was filled with delight day after day, rejoicing in his presence, rejoicing in his whole world and delighting in mankind. If you've ever been a research scientist or even if you've just ever been curious in your life, you know that feeling. I've had that experience of discovering something new, sitting in a class, and all of a sudden it all fell together and made sense, and you're just in awe at, the, at, at what God has created. It says wisdom. He, I, I was just delighted day after day as, as this creation took shape. And at the pinnacle of the creation is, of course, you and me. He said, I was rejoicing in his whole world and delighting in mankind. We are the pinnacle of his creation. And you know we go into the New Testament and we find that that word by which God created was Jesus himself. And Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 that Jesus has become to us God's wisdom as well as his righteousness. And so here we find in the Jesus we love and serve and honor today, in the Jesus in whose name we pray, we find the awesome wisdom and power of God. So I'd like to pray with you, for you today, in his name. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, through whom 
You created the heavens and the earth. We thank you for your great wisdom. We thank you the genius of your mind and your heart. And we thank you that you give wisdom. We need your wisdom. But we pray, God, that not only for your wisdom, but we pray you'll help us to delight in all that you've made that surrounds us. Help us to delight in the blue sky and the green trees and the spring season and everything that you've given us. Lord, we delight in it as wisdom delighted. And most of all, we delight in humankind. We delight in the people you've created, bearing your image. And we pray we'll value them and we'll treat them with your wisdom and grace today. In Jesus' name, amen.